Hello. I want to show you guys a little bit of how I did my um, gap seal job on my Excalibur aircraft. I uh, did a bunch of research. I really wasn't happy with the way the plane was controlling. And um, a friend of mine, Phil, mentioned that I might want to look into gap seals, that he took them off his plane at one time and it actually scared him. It was that, that much of a difference. So um, I, I did a test with some duct tape and it was like, oh my goodness, it was just great. So uh, did some research and found a lot of guys are talking about using, um, um, I'll put the word on the screen because I can't think of it right now. It's, it's a surgical uh, tape that they use like when they put an IV in and stuff. A lot of guys were talking about that works really good. It's a really flexible tape. So um, I have installed it on my plane yesterday. We just took, took a first flight in it this morning and it was, it's awesome. I mean, totally different aircraft, a lot more controllability, a lot more react uh, responsiveness and probably half the stick pressure of what it took before. That I was really surprised about. So better responsiveness and ease of flight. So that was great. Um, so what I did first was, and you know, watching other guys and stuff, was to clean it off really good with some soap and water. And then um, some guys will recommend some acetone. I didn't really feel like I needed to do that. Uh, and then use some spray oil and oil your hinges and then take some Vaseline and then put coat your your hinges with Vaseline so the tape doesn't stick there and it, and it slides on it and I used a couple of different layers because um, this tape only comes in a two inch width and it really needs to be a three inch uh, seal but so I, I overlapped them I put this one on first and then the, the other one over the top of it but um, did did the air ons and then I also did the underside of the seal also Although it's been mentioned a lot, I see that you don't need that. The top does good enough, but some other guys thought it was a good idea too. It, it will keep the, the sticky side uh, non-existent on the bottom. So otherwise you're gonna collect a lot of dust and dirt and, and stuff like that. So it kind of seals the whole system. It's waterproof, it's very elastic. And that's probably, probably one of the best things about it, I think, is because when I tried the duct tape, when it got hot, the duct tape actually um, it started to shrink a little bit and it tightened up and I could tell that, but great, great movement. Um, you can see, I mean, how flexible that is here on the rudder. Um, two strips together on both sides on the rudder. But we just, uh, we just took it out and works absolutely wonderful. And I highly recommend that if you have an experimental aircraft with a little bit of gap in your seals that you you check out gap seals and give it a try. They're great.